So you have a system in your game and need to create or delete an entity, add or remove a component or modify shared component data from a system. Unity tells you that this is only possible from the main thread, but you absolutely want to run another thread for that sweet sweet performance gains. Oh yeah. Well fear not, Unity has you covered. Unity has anti command buffers or ECBs for short. They store all the changes you want to make and place them back at the defined point in time, so all systems stay in sync. This is also called the sync point. The reason why these changes can't be made directly is that they are structural changes. These changes change the archetype of an entity, and because entities are stored in chunks based on the archetype, this would invalidate the chunk. Entity command buffers are implemented in systems. Unity provides several pre-made entity command buffer systems and therefore sync points, but you can also add your own if you need more. But you should keep in mind to have as few as possible. There is a pre-made entity command buffer system at the start and the end of each default system group. Unity has three default system groups. Because there are three default system groups, that comes out to six default entity command buffer systems. For our example, we have a cube with a health component. The health decreases over time and when it hits zero, the cube should be destroyed. The first thing we need to do is to get a reference to the entity command buffer system. I chose the entity command buffer system that runs at the end of the simulation system group, called the end simulation entity command buffer system. Next we need to create a command buffer. For this we can just call create command buffer on the system. For here it is also important to use it as a parallel writer, so we can also use it in multiple threads at once. Next we can use the ECB in the job just like the entity manager from the main thread. As a last step we also need to register this job with the entity command buffer system so it knows about all the dependencies. If we now go back to the editor we can see that our cube disappears when the health hits zero. Here I also have an example that is a bit more elaborate. This is my game that I'm currently working on where I also try to use bits of ECS for more performance critical tasks in my game. The game has humans that have needs and they try to fulfill these by going around the playfield and working at different buildings. This here is the system that is responsible for finding target buildings for the people. When it has found one, it adds a human target component that stores all information about the target building the person is trying to reach to it. I hope with these examples you can now apply the anti-command buffer systems in your own code. Thanks for watching.